Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to tier rank all of these wide receivers here on this list to see how great they are and who's the best. The guy elite, borderline elite, high end number two, quality number two, interesting prospect, solid fourth option, or undecided slash unproven. So for more content like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's jump into this. Adam Thielen. Adam Thielen used to be a fantasy superstar. I'm putting Adam Thielen at... I'm put you at quality. Put you at quality number two. I think Adam Thielen as number two is good. He's not. He used to be a number one, but he's definitely a number two now. AJ Brown is. I think AJ Brown's elite wide receiver. I think he is. Um, yeah, I think he's the elite wide receiver. He played so well in Philadelphia last year. He really helped Jalen Hurts um, progress as a player. Alec Pierce for the Indianapolis Colts. I'm putting you at interesting prospect. Um, he had some games last year that were pretty good, but. You know, there was a couple of games. I don't know how well he's going to be, especially Anthony Richardson throwing you the ball. Anthony Richardson is not a bad player, but, you know, he's more. I feel like they're going to run the ball a lot more. Now, Allen Robinson, you know, I haven't heard about Allen Robinson in a while. I may be tripping. Allen Robinson, I think, used to be really good back in the day, maybe a couple years ago. I don't think he's all that good now. I'll put you at high end number two. I feel like if Allen Robinson's your number two, that's pretty good. I put in Allen Robinson number two, and Amari Cooper is a very interesting one because Amari Cooper used to be at the high level. Um, I don't know if I want to put you at borderline elite. Uh, I don't know. I put you. Yeah, people might disrespect this. I don't know. That's this is a close one. But it's really, it's really close. But I don't see Amari being the number one guy anymore. I'm putting him high in number two. Somebody gonna hate me for that, but I put him high in number two. Amari Rogers. I don't know. A lot about Amari Rogers. I'm not gonna lie to you. For the people who know Amari Rogers, uh, tell me how he is. I'm putting him at undecided slash unproven just to be safe. Um, Amon Ross St. Brown. I'm putting you borderline elite. I think he is. He is pretty close to that next level. I feel like. I think um, he could be one of the elite receivers. He played really well last year. He was whoever picked him up on fantasy. Great job. Uh, Brandon Cooks, quality number two. He was my number one last year, failed me, but he's not number one receiver. He's been trading more times than anyone can count. I think he's a quality number two. Brandon Ayuk, I'm putting you also at, I'm putting Brandon Ayuk as a, a high end number two, quality number two. I put you at high end. I think he's really good. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. I put you at, I put you at quality. I'm gonna be safe. I don't know. Um, Brian Edwards, I don't know. I'm not familiar too much with your game. I don't know if you're a baller or not. For the people who believe he is, tell me what's up. Uh, Traylon Burns. I don't even know who you are as a human. CD Lamb. I'm putting CD Lamb as one of the. And I know you're gonna hate me. Is one of the elite receivers. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play around. I'm putting him as one of the elite receivers in football. Had a really good year last year. He deserves to be up there. Chase Claypool. Chase Claypool isn't good. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say you're a solid fourth option. I mean, he's not supposed to be bad. He's supposed to be good, but I mean, yeah, Chase Claypool is your number four receiver, and I think you're doing pretty well. Christian Kirk is, to me, borderline elite. I think Christian Kirk is a baller for sure. So I'm putting him at borderline elite. But I believe he played for Jacksonville. Um, and he played pretty well. I think he played pretty well last year. I think he's borderline. I don't know if he's going to be that guy, but put him up there. Cooper Cup. Um, Got to scroll up. Got to scroll up. Cooper Cup is an elite wide receiver for sure. Um, two years ago, he had one of the best seasons in history. Amazing season. He was injured last year, but played amazing um, the year before. Corey Davis. Man, I don't know. I'm put you at, I think, I don't even know if you're a quality. I don't know if I want Corey Davis to be my number two receiver. Maybe that's not bad, though. Maybe I should put you, I don't know. I might put you at fourth option. Nah, I think I'm disrespecting you. Let's put you at quality number two. Cortland Sutton, I'm going to say you are high end number two. I know people be like, Jesse, what the heck are you talking about? He's borderline elite. And yeah, for some of these guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to tell you I've researched every wide receiver stat and every play of their career or whatever. But from what I see, I know Cortland Sutton, he might be a borderline elite player, but I don't know if it's been really proven. Maybe he's been injury prone. I don't know. Jamison Crowder put you at solid fourth option. I don't even know you playing football still. Curtis Samuel was a decent fantasy option last year. I'm putting you quality number two. Um, he was able to he was able to run the ball a little bit, catch the ball. 
he's he's a, he's a solid number two. He was he he did me a little decent in fantasy. Devonte Adams. Devonte Adams is one of the better. I'm putting you up here. I'm gonna like I'm actually gonna rank these. I'm gonna say Cooper Cup is number two behind you. This is why I think these wide receivers are ranked in real time. And Devonte Adams I think is the best. He's I mean right now for 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 what I have up there. Debo Samuel, I believe, is borderline elite. I don't think Debo Samuel... Debo Samuel is really good, but I don't see him as... He, he's multifaceted as well, but I don't see him as the true elite receivers in the game. Um, he's one of the true elite receivers, but he's not elite. He's borderline elite. Like, maybe he can take that step, but, you know, he's really good. Like, borderline elite. Best out of, I think he's the best out of these three. Maybe Amon Ra. Um, um, Devin Duverney. I'm going to say you're an interesting prospect. Um, Devontae Smith is a high end number two. He definitely is supposed to be one of those, you know, all time kind of player, not players, but like it, when he came out of college, it's Devontae Smith supposed to be that guy, you know? So he's been, he's been good, but he hasn't been, you know, he hasn't been what I thought he'd be, but he's been really good. DeAndre Hopkins is not back in the day. I put him on borderline elite. DeAndre Hopkins is still a stud. I'm not putting him at elite. Um, I have to, he can obviously re show me that he's elite, but for right now, I'm putting him at a borderline elite. He got to show me this year that he's still elite. Stefan Diggs, I'm putting you up there, buddy. Let me put you up at this. I'm putting Stefan, I'm going to put Stefan at, I think he's the third best out of these five. I'm putting Stefan Diggs right there. Deontay Johnson, I'll put you at interesting prospect. And these guys, like, I've heard of them. I've heard of these guys. It's just, they're not like, they have their moments, and then there's moments where, you, you know, I don't really know. DJ Chark. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to put you at high end. Maybe I should put you at borderline. I don't know. I don't know. This is one I don't know. You can – let me – I'm going to look at his stats. Let me look at his stats. Let me look at DJ Chark's stats. 2022. 100 uh, yards. Hmm. Not too special, man. I'm not – I'm going to put you at – a quality number two for right now i'm putting you at quality number two prove me that you're more dj Moore. i'm putting you at borderline elite they traded the bears traded a pick their first i mean they i mean those panthers traded you to the bears to get the pick with other things you know other picks but you know you're a good you're a really good receiver and we'll see if that shines through in chicago dk metcalf i'm also putting you there at borderline elite i think you like right there with that but dk metcalf i'm putting you also there Drake London is an interesting prospect. Definitely need to see a little more out of him to give him some, you know, official. Elijah Moore, I'm putting you at. I put Elijah Moore. Oh, fourth option. I don't think he's number two. I don't know who you are, man. I'm sorry. Russell Gage, I'm putting you. How old is how old is Russell Gage, bro? Some of these guys, like, cause I, you know, funny thing, I hear I hear a lot about these guys. I do. I hear about these guys. I watch these guys some games. Obviously, I'm not watching every game. They, I watch these guys for some of the games, and I put Russell. I put Russell at an interesting prospect. Um, Michael Gallup. I'll put you at quality number two, man. We'll put you at quality. They, you know, a lot of the Cowboys fans love you, but feel like you haven't really shown them shown them too much besides a couple plays. Garrett Wilson is a stud, but Garrett Wilson. I'm putting Garrett Wilson right here. He's borderline elite. You know, his second year. Let's see if he goes to the elite. Chris Godwin is i say high end number two if he stays healthy i don't know if aj green's playing with us is aj green a football player still i don't think aj green's a football player anymore yeah yeah aj green doesn't play the sport which is crazy aj green used to be that guy i right, put him here mccall hardman I say high end number two i think his speed is very very helpful for if you're playing on his team marquise brown ah uh, say Give you high end number two as well. I'm gonna give you high end number two. Jahan Dotson, I think he was doing pretty well in fantasy. I'm gonna say interesting prospect. Jacoby Myers, I don't know, man. I'm gonna say I'm gonna decide such unproven. Jamar Chase is actually one of my favorite wide receivers in the game. But Jamar right there, he's one of my favorite receivers. Jamison Williams. I'm, hey, I might be tripping. I don't know who my man. Jarvis Landry is a. I don't know if Jarvis Landry. I don't know if he's still that guy. I put you at quality. I don't know if you're still that guy. Maybe I'm tripping, but I don't know if you're still him. Jerry Judy is, I'm going to say borderline. They they obviously put Jerry Judy as a number one receiver for the team. It's just they've had such a bad play. 
Justin Jefferson. Justin Justin. Oh no, he not. He not quality number two. He's the guy I wanted to draft in the two thousand. When um, we trade Hopkins, I wanted Justin Jefferson. Um, I wanted to trade to the Cardinals. You know, trade them and then we get their first round pick, which would have made sense. But Bill O'Brien's a merchant for destruction, and he's an awful, awful man. Juju Smith Schuster. Um, quality number two, nothing crazy. Julio Jones, psh, the point he washed, solid fourth option. Keenan Allen is borderline elite. He better than you, though. He better than a couple of y'all. He, he right, right. He right, right here. Kenny Galladay is very big time bust for them boys. I don't know who my man is right here. KJ Hamler is. Um, interesting prospect. I know he had some issues. Um, hope he, you know, recovers from that. I'm putting you, Chenault, at interesting. Alan Lazard, honestly, is probably a high end number two, but yeah, I think he's a high end number two. Tyler Lockett is a, I put you right here. Tyler Lockett's very smart because he doesn't get hit. Um, Dre's Marshall. And if I don't know these guys, man, you tell me what's up, man. Tell me, tell me, you know, a. This guy is better. This guy should be higher. Marvin Jones. Marvin Jones used to be a stud. Didn't he used to play for Cincinnati? Uh, I'm going to say quality number two. Because some of these guys are, you know, they're kind of old. Like, they're kind of old. Terry McLaren. I put Terry, Terry McLaren's had some terrible quarterback play. And he still ain't got a good quarterback. But he a stud, though. Terry McLaren, if he had a good quarterback, would make, he would be one of them boys. You know what I'm saying? It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. John Mechie, and I hope you ball, boy. I hope you are stud. You unproven. I hope you a stud. Mike Evans is Mike Evans is elite. I'ma say he's elite. I know they like I he be like Jesse, is he still that guy? I know he not he might he may not play elite this year because he ain't got no quarterback. But I think he's elite. Mike Williams, I think you're very high up here. I think you borderline elite. Darnell Mooney, I say you're an interesting player. Um Marquez Valdez Scanting. I think he played for the Chiefs. Say you quality number two. Nelson Aguilar, I think you a high end number two. There's so many I'm just like putting them. I'm not even like I'm not even really thinking about like um <laughs> where they are. I'm just putting them now. I'm not even ranking these unless, unless it's in the elite status. Um Odell Beckham, I think you're high end number two. Chris Olave is borderline elite. Just need consistent quarterback play. Jay, I don't know him. I'm sorry. I don't know you, buddy. Um, Devontae Parker. I'm going to say you high end as well. I'm not going to. George Pickens. George Pickens is a stud, though. George Pickens, I'm putting you at borderline elite to me. I think George Pickens is going to be that boy. George Pickens got that talent for that. Michael Pittman. Uh, right now, you high. To me, you high in number two playing as number one for the Colts. But maybe you, you proved to me that you're more than that. Um, Quez Watkins put you an interesting prospect Rashad Bateman don't know I'm not gonna lie I know you are but I don't know if you that guy Jalen Rieger I feel, I feel like this guy's a bust I feel like this guy was a bust for the I think he played for the Eagles or he used to I don't know I think maybe play for the Vikings now I believe I'm saying you solid fourth option to run fro is a high-end number two very good number two receiver to have Calvin Ridley um, he's able to play football because he you know, did that betting thing. You were up there as well. Robbie Anderson. I'm just put you up there. We got a lot of high end number twos. Robert Woods is a quality number two. Rondell Moore. Don't know, buddy. I'm sorry. Sterling Shepard is no, he's a he's a high end number two. Sterling Shepard's a really good player. He gets hurt all the time. Sky Moore is undecided slash unproven. Darius Slayton. Don't know. Undecided slash unproven. T. Higgins is a stud, though. T. Higgins is definitely a high-end um, number two wide receiver. Michael Thomas. This was 2000, like, what was it? 2020? 2019? One of them years. 140 some catches. Michael Thomas, I don't know. Michael Thomas is interesting because I don't know if he's, like, yeah, I'm putting you right now. I'm putting Michael Thomas at the highest of high-end number twos because Michael Thomas don't play, and I feel like that's important, right? You got to play to be able to be in this borderline elite because Michael Thomas definitely would be elite if he was healthy. He just don't play. Maybe I'll put you borderline. I'm, I'm going to respect you from what you did with Drew Brees. I'm going to put you at borderline. Um, Tim Patrick, 
for my Broncos fans. It's a mystery to me. Uh, Kadarius Tony caught a touchdown in the Super Bowl for the equality number two. Traquan Smith. I'm not going to tell you what's up. T.Y. Hilton still playing football? Don't exit out. T.Y. Hilton playing football still? He's an American football. Who's a free agent? Oh, yeah, free agent. T.Y. Hilton is not a bad player. T.Y. Hilton is a. I'm not going to say quality. I'm going to say solid fourth option. He's not with Andrew Luck. I'm going to say solid fourth option. Tyler Boyd is a quality number two. My man right here. Not proven. Tyreek Hill is a stud. He's a stud. Tyreek Hill is number third. Number three. I think he's third best. Put him number three at receivers. Um, I don't see the first name, and that's that. And I, I can't tell you. Uh, Jalen Waddle is really good. Jalen Waddle is borderline elite. Keep it going up. We going up still. Don't you worry, guys. Jalen Waddle is borderline elite. And some of these guys, honestly, I'm looking back, may also be borderline elite. Maybe T. Higgins is as well. I don't know, but. I'm going to keep it. Jalen Waddle's borderline elite. My man right here is in this right here. Put you right there. Sammy Watkins. Sammy Watkins was supposed to be a freaking stud. He's supposed to be one of the best players, best receivers in history. Honestly, how hype he was. Too bad. Christian Watson. Um, I'm going to say interesting prospect. I don't know if he's going to be a number one receiver now, but he's definitely played really well with Aaron Rodgers. And that is the list. So, you know, my elite receivers are up here. Ooh, let me go away because I might be covering some of these people faces. So those are my elite receivers, borderline elite. Some of those guys, you know, those guys are really good, but not all the way up there. High end number twos. They can obviously jump up to number one borderline elites as well. But I don't think these guys are guys that you want as your number one receiver on your team and actually realistically expect to go far, you know. But maybe T. Higgins got to be the guy who could be up there. I don't know. Quality number twos. Guys, that if they're your number two receiver and you have a really good number one, you can call it. That's pretty good. Interesting prospect. These are guys who may may be a number one receiver. May, you know, I don't know. But I may be shown, they haven't shown me enough to put me to make me put them where I want to put them. Solid fourth options. These guys that probably aren't very good or not the best. Maybe a little wash. Maybe bust. I don't know. And, hey, if they're your number four receiver, that's not bad, honestly. And undecided, unproven. Maybe I don't know your name. I don't really check up on your stats maybe you're retired like aj green or yeah i just don't yeah i just don't check up on you a lot so this is my list um comment down below tell me what you think of this list tell me if this list is fine and dandy or if you hate the list for more content like this i'll do a running back version very soon make sure to like comment subscribe and i will catch you guys on the next video so road to 1000 hit that subscribe button i'm out of here